Have you ever come home from the grocery store and realized that your bread is at the bottom of the bag? I hate it when this happens. Got my orange juice, apples, my ice cream, all on top of this now smushed loaf of bread. Compression set is the permanent deformation to an object after it's been exposed to a compressive force. This smushed loaf of bread will never recover its shape. This is an example of high compression set. Let's take a look at compression set and see how it relates to polyurethane. Polyurethane can experience high levels of deformation but still recover with minimal dimensional change. This is because polyurethane is a high performance elastomer with long molecular chains. More cross-linking between molecular chains results in better recovery, therefore lower compression set. We can control the level of cross-linking through careful formulation. When the application demands it, we formulate our polyurethane to have low compression set. This is important for applications such as bumpers, equipment mounts, and rollers. We often measure compression set in the material we produce by performing an ASTM D395 standard test. First, we'll hold a test sample in a fixture at 25% deflection. Next, we age it for 22 hours at 70 C. Then we remove the samples from the oven and fixture and wait 30 minutes. Finally, we take the difference in height measurements before and after to calculate the compression set percent. With proper consideration of compression set, we ensure that our products optimally perform over their lifespan. We have the engineering expertise to minimize compression set for you. To learn more, check out our post linked in the description below. We collaboratively design, precisely mold, and dependably deliver polyurethane components that improve your product's performance.